Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kate and I love all things makeup, beauty, skincare, and fun. Today we're going to be doing a lip product declutter. It is going to be long. The lighting is going to be a little weird. I hope that you will bear with me. Um, if you enjoy this type of content, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and without any further ado, let's go. So we're going to start with eyeliners. I have all of our more bold colors in this container here. And then I have kind of deeper mid-tone deep nudes here um, with more light, um, <laughs> light to mid-tone nudes here. So I think what I want to do here is really reduce the number <laughs> that I have um, and try to weed out colors that I'm absolutely not going to use. Um, so we'll start, I guess, let's see if we can start with the Jaclyn Cosmetics. I know she is, her brand, rather, whoever's brand it is, um, is going under, but I actually do really like her lip liners. So in terms of like the nude ones, I have these here. I hope the lighting is okay. Um, so I have toasty bourbon chai tea blondie and coffee cake so i think what i'll do is i'll keep these because these are all light to mid-tone nudes um and i really enjoy this formula the real issue that i have right now is that i have or i had rather bought a color pop vault um many years ago at this point not many but several years ago at this point they've actually since changed the packaging so that's kind of what i want to focus on today in terms of decluttering um so we're going to hold on to these this is the ColourPop liner in the shade bff i actually have two of these one is in my project pan this is an extra i am going to hold on to this though um because my one in my project pan is in my work bag and i'd like to have one here at home as well Oops, I missed a Jaclyn Cosmetics one. This one is in the Shane Macaron, and I am gonna hold on to those. I'm gonna hold on to the Jaclyn ones that are nude um, and probably get rid of some of the ones that are more bold. So I do have this one here. It is from the Glam Light and Chucky collab. It's a little bit dark, but I think that I can make it work. Um, and I think that there's a place for it in my collection, so I'm gonna hold on to that one. I have these two ColourPop ones from their Barbie collection. I am gonna hold on to these as well. And then I actually have two here from the Glam Light Barbie collection. This yellow one um, is not in a shade, but it came in like a lip kit and it was yellow. I am gonna hold on to these, but I'm gonna swatch them for good measure. So those um, two here are the ones that came in that Barbie collection. So I am gonna hold on to those for now. So here are what we're looking at in terms of colors left. And of course my camera is not gonna focus. There we go. Um, and the thing is, is that they all look so similar. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them and then we'll take a peek at the end here. Okay, so here they are swatched out on my hand. As you can see, a lot of them look exactly the same. And beyond that, some of these literally are the same. <laughs> so let's get rid of duplicates, obviously. So this first one right here, um, starting left to right, of course, is called Field Day. Um, I'm not really feeling especially attached to that one. I think we're going to let that go. Next is Little One. Um, I am going to keep that one. That one's a little bit lighter um, in tone. And then we have, I have two So Happies, which is the third shade on there. Um, I am going to keep one and get rid of one. And then I have Mindful Man, no, Minute Man, <laughs> Mindful Man. Um, I have Minute Man and I, yes, I have two of those. So I am going to honestly, yeah, I'll keep one and get rid of one. And then somehow or another, I have two O Snaps heaven knows how um so i'm gonna get rid of one of those and then i have the last shade here it's called lumiere i am gonna hold on to that one it's a little more pinky mauve um so that is that and now we are gonna go into the deeper ones and try to rule those out right off the bat this is from the glam light chucky collab i am gonna go ahead and keep this one this is i don't know what the shade is i think this is the tiff shade so yes it is 
it's a bit darker but i do enjoy that and i like their formula um let's go ahead and pick out any that aren't color pop let's start from the top here aren't color pop let's start from the top here of ones that aren't color pop i have my camera is like really on the struggle bus today with this uh focusing business we have one here from jacqueline this is bold brew we have another here that it won't focus on here we go we have another here called hot tea and then finally we have this one which is stocking and then um we have kind of a out of left field this one is from St. Lux. So I'm gonna swatch these and then we'll kind of make a decision. Okay, so these are those four swatched. The first one is by St. Lux and it's the shade Secret Admirer. The consistency of this one is wretched. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that. The next one is Bold Brew. It's pretty dark, but I do have some darker brown lips. Um, so I am gonna hold on to that one. Um, the next one we have is Hot Tea. And I actually do rather enjoy that shade. So we're going to hold on to that. And then finally is Stocking by Jacqueline Cosmetics. It's a pretty deep purple. Um, I think we're going to think about that one because I feel like I might have some other deep purples. Um, and I really do not need more than one. Um, so we're going to think about that one. And then we'll swatch another grouping of these. Okay, so here are 10 swatches. These are all ColourPop. Um, so the first one we have is called CTRL, um, pretty dark and I already have a dark one. So I'm going to let that go. The next one is good and plenty and the lighting is like not cooperating. Also, I apologize. You can probably see my dog, um, in and out. So the next one is good and plenty. We are going to hold on to that one. Next third over from the left is BFF3. I do like that one. So we're going to hold on to that. Um, fourth over from the left is shot clock, which I have no idea what that even means, but nonetheless, we are going to let that one go. Um, BFF three is in there twice. So we're going to declutter the second one. Of course, um, hoopty is going to be the next one over. We're going to let that go. Um, and then we have CTRL again. We're going to let that go <laughs> and hoopty again. I, I'm wondering honestly, if I got like two of these things by accident, I have no idea. The last two over here are a little hard to see. Um, the first one is called oh wait, another round. And then the last one is called beeper. We're going to hold on to both of those and let the others go. So we'll start with Jacqueline because there's some in here I need to swatch. The first one we have here is, uh, yes beach and then we have this one i'm pretty sure this is a limited holiday collection in the shade unwrap me um this one we have in i'm in it this next one is in the shade bow and then finally we have the shade no rules i am going to pull this one back in this is in our maybe pile here in the shade stocking because i'm going to swatch them all next to each other and we'll go from there on like which ones i'm going to keep Okay, so these are the shades starting left to right. Um, we have this absolutely <laughs> neon shade called Yes Beach. I am going to keep that one. And my justification is I want to see if I can use it on the eyes because I feel like it could be a good eyeliner. So I am going to keep that one. Um, we next have the shade Unwrap Me. And then we have I'm In It. I definitely don't want to keep that one. Um, the next shade that we have is Bow. Next is No Rules. It's like that orangey color. Um, I am going to keep that one because I don't... Actually, I guess I'll compare it to the other orange that I have. So I'll put that one over there. And then the finally um, is that really deep shade, which I still haven't made up my mind about. So um, let me look between these two because I'm a little torn between Unwrap Me and Bow. And I just don't feel like I need both. I can't make up my mind. So I think what I'm going to do is leave them. So I'm going to wash off these swatches, leave those two on my hand and swatch them next to my ColourPop ones um, and try to make a red decision there. So these are the reds that I have from ColourPop. Guys, I can count on one hand the number of times I wear a red lip in a year. And I have 50 red liners. Absolutely bonkers. Okay, so these are those swatched. Immediately, the two in the center um, can go so those are from ColourPop, and it is frenchy and chi chi we're not going to use those and then i'm still a little bit torn honestly on the colors to choose so this one by ColourPop, 
is I Heart This. That can go. All right, I'm going to keep the two and the one. So the one from ColourPop is the first one all the way to the left. And that one's called Bossy. And then the two bottom ones are from Jaclyn Cosmetics. Um, Unwrap Me and Bow. And I can't make up my mind. And I don't want to declutter just for the sake of decluttering. So I'm going to let those go. And then we'll sw watch the rest of these and make our choice here. Okay, so the swatching got a little wayward. Um, so from left to right, we have Overtime, Hotcakes, and Lovebird. We're going to let all three of those go. We are going to keep the fourth one over. I don't even know how this one got in here. It's like a pretty pale nude. Um, it's called Starship. We're going to hold on to that. Um, and then moving on to the fourth one from the left, we have X Factor. Um, absolute zero. I want to compare that one to the other orange. So we're going to hold on to it for right the second. And then we have Dial Up, LBB, Hard On. We're gonna let all of those go. And then um, second to last over here is the ColourPop and Barbie collab. This is in the shade Malibu Sunset. I am gonna hold on to that one. And then finally at the end, we have like a very bright pinky purple um, called Be Cute. We're gonna let that one go as well. So those are the two oranges next to each other. Um, they are quite different. The Jaclyn one is definitely darker than the other one. I'm gonna hold on to these both for now, um, simply because you never know. You just never know. And I feel like I did do a decent job actually decluttering these. Let me show you. So here are all the ones that I'm getting rid of. I'm getting rid of 40 liners. And then these are the ones that I'm keeping. I'm keeping 41 as they like tumble out. But I'm getting rid of almost half or exactly half of my collection. So I feel really good about that. I feel like I'm going to be able to find things so much easier. Um, let's go ahead and move to the next category, shall we? so here is the bulk of my liquid lipsticks we might bump into like a few stragglers but um primarily i have these kaleidos lip clays lunar beauty kylie jacqueline and laura lee los angeles good grief and then there's like a couple straggling glosses over here these are by essence they're their juicy bombs and these are super old so i am gonna get rid of them you can see they they look pretty gross um, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of these. I guess we'll start with Kylie because I feel like we're going to make some progress in here. Um, let's go ahead and see what I even have. Oh, most of these are Jacqueline. Okay. Okay. Well, let's, let's dump the bucket here. So I have two here from Kylie. I have Posy K and Candy K. Um, I don't know. I definitely am going to get rid of Posy K. I like Candy K quite a bit. Let's smell it. Yeah, it smells like paint. We're going to get rid of that. That's old. Um, I have this one here by Nude Sticks. I don't know the last time I used it. It's pretty old. We're going to let that go. Um, I have this here by Jaclyn. This is not a liquid lipstick, but it is It's one of her lip cushions. I actually have two of those here. So this darker shade um, is called One and Only. And then we have this pink shade called Last First Kiss. Let's swatch these. So those are those two swatched out i don't think honestly i can't tell you the last time i used either of these so i'm gonna let both of these go this is a gloss by sigma it's from their cinderella collab um i am gonna hold on to this one for now this doesn't even belong in this basket i have this one here by uoma beauty um this is in the shade grace i'm gonna let this go it's like a pearlescent red but i don't wear that very often i have this one by gerard cosmetics this is in the shade 1995 have not worn it. Gonna let it go. Um, these are by Kosas. I'm gonna swatch these and then we can kind of make a choice from there. Um, so these are those swatched out. They're all pretty like warm tone, nude colors, very mid-tone also, not like light. Um, I do think I'm gonna hold on to these for now um, for reference purposes primarily. And then we'll go to the Jaclyn ones. I'm gonna do a lot of swatching on those because <laughs> she does make probably my favorite li liquid lipstick or she did make my favorite liquid lipstick formula but um we can't get our hands on these anymore so we have this berry shade here it's like a deeper berry um this one is in the shade i'm in it we're gonna let that go i got rid of the i'm pretty sure there was a matching lip liner and i let that go this is like a neon pink i don't i have no idea honestly when i would wear this it's called yes bitch I'm like torn on this one because it's like such a ridiculous color. I just don't know when I'd wear it. Uh, I'll hold on to it for now. 
hold on to it. So these three nudes here, um, I have Be Brave, Oh Hi, and Confidence. I am going to hold on to those three. I have one here from Huda Beauty. It's one of her demi mats. I'm going to let that go. I don't know the last time I wore it. Um, a couple more from Jacqueline that are nudes. So we have this one um, in in the shade Outspoken. I am going to keep that. We also have another one in the shade Truth. We're going to go ahead and keep that. We have this one in the shade Krabby. Um, yeah, I guess I will hold on to that for now. And then we have this one in the shade Absolutely. So we'll hold on to those. Um, I have four, for some reason, red shades. I'm going to swatch those and we can make a choice from there. Okay, so from left to right, we have the shade Bow, we have the shade Stocking, we have the shade Flannel, and then we have the shade Unwrap Me. Okay, so we're going to get actually get rid of the two middle shades. Um, that is in Flannel and Stocking, and then we'll keep the other two reds. And then from here, we're going to go into Lunar Beauty and Lorely Los Angeles. Um... I'm going to warn you, I probably won't like declutter, declutter any of these, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. And actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and let these two go from Jacqueline. There's um, the hot pink shade called I'm In It, and then the more orange shade called No Rules. I just don't, I really don't think I'm going to use these, so we're going to let those go. Um... Some of these from Laura Lee Los Angeles are pretty old, so um, I probably won't keep them all in my makeup, my, like my main makeup area, but I might keep them in a different space just because I enjoy collecting her things. So let's lay these down here. I thought I saw another one. Yes, I did. Okay, so the first one we have is this one in the shade Old Rose. I think this one is fairly new. Yes, it is. So we're going to keep that one. Um, next, we have this one that looks like I've used it quite a bit, and it might be on her last leg. Um, this is in the shade Topless. Still smell, this one still smells fine, so we'll hold on to Topless as well. Uh, we have this one here in the shade Skimpy. This one is definitely older. We're going to hold on to it, but not in my main makeup collection. We also have this one here in the shade Jaybird. This one, I suspect, is... Oh, this one's fine too. So we're going to hold on to that. Um, this one I'm actually fairly confident is expired. This is in the shade Coral Pop. So the way that I can tell that they're expired is that they're not liquid. <laughs> they're like more moussey. Um, that one is definitely expired. So we're going to put that one aside. This one in... We have this one in the shade Blushing. I think... This is a newer one, but I could be wrong. This one is still safe, so we're going to hold on to her. And then we have two more. Um, so we have this one with the lighter cap, and this one is called Nikki Nikki. Um, I want to say, yes, that one is fine. We'll hold on to that one. And then finally, but not last but not least, I should say, we have the shade Spicy Pink. And that one is fine, so we're going to hold on to that one as well. It's only two, oddly enough. Um, we're expired out of those. Laura ones. So the ones that are expired, to her credit, I've had those for a very long time, so um, that's a me problem. So from Lunar Beauty, I'm going to be honest, I'm probably not going to get rid of any of these, but I'll go through them with you. I have this red shade called Aphrodite. I'm definitely going to hold on to that. Um, the next one that we have here is called Hallow's Eve. Definitely hold on to that. Can't even get your hands on it anymore. I love this one. This one is in the shade Perfection. This is, in fact, Perfection. So, very on brand. Um, this one we have here in the shade Pink Pearl. I'm gonna hold on to that. We're gonna hold on to all of these if we're being really perfectly honest. Um, and I will just go through and like see which ones are expired. So, we have the shade Zaya. We have the shade Sailor. No, yes, Sailor. Um, we have this one in the shade Daydream. We have two perfections. Why do I have two? I wonder. Okay, so we definitely don't need two of the same one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter one. <laughs> and keep one. <laughs> Grief. And then finally we have the shade Abyss, which is kind of darker and moodier. So we are going to keep those. Um, 
And that is like the bulk of the liquid lipsticks. So we'll move on to the next section. I shut the curtain. I'm kind of hoping that will help the focus. You're gonna, Daisy is gonna like poke her little head in here. Um, but nonetheless, <laughs> the show must go on. So these are mostly glosses. There are some, I think some of the Odin's Eye collaboration with Angie are mixed in here. So let me figure out who's who in America <laughs> and we'll be back. <laughs> So I have two matte um, lip liquid lipsticks in collaboration um, with Odin's Eye and Angelica Nyquist. Um, so I have a Shadow Creature and I have a Swamp Flop. We are going to hold on to both of those, but they're going to go in with the liquid lipsticks. The three others that I have are more shine slash glossy formulas. So uh, we have Quicksand, we have Radioactive, and we have a Spectral. So we are going to hold on to those. Definitely not getting rid of those. Let's dump one of these out. Good grief, Charlie Brown. Something spilt in here, and I don't know that I even want to know what. We have this from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is in the shade Candy Drip. I believe this is one of her lip oils. I didn't even know that I had this, so I am going to keep it. I'm going to clean it off because this is like part of whatever spilt. Hopefully it's not this that actually spilt. Um, well, here we go, good grief. I think, yeah, it's a lip oil. So I am going to hold on to this one and try to use this up because I tend to go through lip oils pretty rapidly. So I think I can go through that one. I'm just going to put it aside and get it out of there. Um, gosh, these are so tough. So I have these. These are from the Raw Beauty Christie collab with ColourPop, of course. And... I don't want to get rid of them, and I hate this formula. So I think what I'll do is I'll hold on to these, but not in my main makeup collection, so I'm decluttering them from there, but I'm going to hold on to them because they're Robbie Christy, and I just love her. I have one of these little lip injection plump extreme things. This is super old, and I couldn't tell you the last time I used it. That's, that's going to be going. I have these two from Tarte. They're their Maracuja Juicy Plump Sticks. I have mine in the shade White Peach and Cherry Blossom. Um, we are going to keep those. I actually enjoy them. There's a third here lingering in the in the midst. Um, and this is in the shade Poppy. Again, something is like leaking in that drawer. So I'm just going to wipe these off as we go. Good gravy, Marie. Um, I have these minis from Fenty. And the thing is, is that I've had these for a very long time, um, as evidenced here. So let's go through these. Uh, this is hot chocolate. I am actually going to hold on to that one because I do enjoy that one. Um, these two here. This one is in the, sh the shade Sweet Mouth. We have this one in the shade Cherry. This one is in Confetti. And then... This is in the shade Fussy. I have a full size of Fussy. I'm going to let that go. I need to work on that full size of Fussy. Um, these two by ColourPop, these lippy sticks. We're going to let both of those go. I don't know the last time I used them. Um, and we're going to come circle back to the Fenties. I have not forgotten. I'm just trying to kind of make up my mind. We have another lippy stick by ColourPop. Again, don't know the last time I used it. We're going to let it go. Um, this is a Glam Light and Scooby-Doo collab. This is the Daphne Gloss. Definitely holding on to that. Um, Lawless makes my favorite gloss formula. So absolutely, absolutely keep another lippy stick. It's got to go. It's got to be going. This gloss here, this is actually pretty new. It's the Kissing Jelly Gloss from Too Faced. I'm going to hold on to that for now for reference purposes. It's like a gloss lip oil hybrid in my humble, humble opinion. It's mostly just a lip gloss. Um, it's not bad. It's just not like super hydrating. Um, we have these two from Pavagrass, and I feel like the trouble is, is I do love this formula, but they're pretty old. Let me see how they smell, maybe, and we'll go from there. Right, so I think what we'll do is we'll hold on to this one. This is in the shade Bronze Temptation, and we're going to let go of this one. It's pretty, like, thick and gloopy and dark, um, and the reality is, is I'm probably not going to use it. Um, this, I think, is a liquid lipstick from Lunar Beauty, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just verify that. Yes, it is. So it's got to go into a different bin. These are lip stains from Fenty Beauty. Um, this is in the shade Zesty Bestie. And then we have Strawberry Sangria. I am going to hold on to both of those. 
And then in terms of these, I feel like they're pretty old. Um, and I have other gloss formulas that I'm probably going to use before I use these. So I'm going to let those go. Okay. Um, I have three here from Laura Lee Los Angeles. These launched, I want to say last year. I'm pretty sure. Um, I like these. They're not my favorite. The thing, my thing with these is that I wish more product came off on the wand. Um, but I do enjoy using them. So for right this second, we're going to hold on to those. I need to, I need to limit this down a bit. This is bonkers. I have another Too Faced lip injection, maximum plump. I'm going to let that go. Couldn't tell you the last time I used it. This one is um, from Unearthly in collaboration with Heather Austin. Absolutely keeping that one. This is Glamlight X Scooby-Doo in their Velma. Love this for holding on to that. Um, I have some from Luna Beauty. And we're keeping them all, my friends. We're keeping them all. Um, these all have some shimmer in them. So we have Dreamy. We have Celine. That one's probably my favorite. We have um, Beachcraft and Coven. So yes, to those. <laughs> this one is from Glam Light. It's in the shade Caramel Frappe. We can hold on to this for now, I guess. It smells good. I just don't know when I'm going to use it. Eh, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. This one from Morphe is in collaboration with Sour Patch Kids. We're going to let that go. I don't know when I used it last. Um, these are in collaboration with Laura Lee Los Angeles and her niece, Erin Weaver. I do enjoy these glosses, so I am going to hold on to those for right this second. Um, this one, I'm trying to figure out. Okay, it is. It's Luna Beauty's lip um, gloss in the shade Crystal Kiss. We'll hold on to it. I don't use clear glosses very often. If I'm using something clear, it's usually a lip oil, but um, nonetheless. And then this is in the shade Moon. So also obviously keeping those. This is uh, Glam Light and it's their collaboration with Strawberry Shortcake. I love this one. We're gonna keep. And then last but not least, um, didn't I already see Cinderella? Maybe not. This one I did, but nonetheless, this is Cinderella. We are gonna hold on to that. And then these are no longer your not able to get a hold of them anymore but they are from the Encanto collection um I'm gonna just see how they smell I'm not going to be decluttering them no matter what but I might move them from my main collection oh they smell fine okay we're gonna hold on to those for right now but we got them um I have two of this Daphne gloss primarily because I wanted to have two of the Daphne lipstick um I think I will pass this on because I don't think I need two of the of the gloss. Speaking of that Daphne lipstick, this is it by Glam Light. On their website, it looked a little bit more like nudie white-based peach. Um, but nonetheless, I am going to hold on to that one. This one is the Gardens Edition by Givon Givenchy. Um, this is like a sheer <laughs> sparkly pink. I don't know. I don't think my camera is capturing it's beauty. It's beautiful. I very rarely wear it, um, but I am going to hold on to it because it was very expensive. This one is by Rare Beauty. I do enjoy this one quite a bit. I need to see what the other shades um, look like, but I do enjoy this one quite a bit. We're going to hold on to her. We're going to hold on to most of those in those little, that little basket because honestly, that's like my, <laughs> my those are my go-tos. Um, so we'll just go through these quickly. I have two here by Lawless. I have Daisy Girl and Wedding Day. Um, both of these are pretty light neutral. So we're going to hold on to those. This one is one of my favorites. It's by Natasha Denona and it's her My Dream lipstick. We're definitely holding on to that. This one is by Tom Ford and couldn't tell you the last time I used it, but I don't think I've ever used it. It's beautiful. It's red. I'm going to hold on to it. I need to use it. This is another one of those Juicy Bomb tubes from Essence. We're going to let it go. <laughs> um, I have a couple of minis here. These, this one, and I have two glosses from Glam Light and the Barbie collection. We are gonna hold on to those. I don't know why they're over here. Um, a liquid lipstick by Dior. I am gonna hold on to this as well. And then two bullet lipsticks. Um, two bullet lipsticks in collaboration with Glam Light and Barbie. We are gonna hold on to those as well. But all of these in these containers, but they don't, first of all, they need to be cleaned. But second of all, I need to figure out how to store them in a way that I can 
more readily utilize them because what happens is that I've been putting them over here at the end of my desk, but they're literally just out of reach. So then I'm more likely to go for something in my drawer. So I need to figure out a better system in terms of that. Um, so this one is by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I'm pretty sure it's in shade Celebrity Skin. Oh no, it's Diet Mannequin. Regardless, we're gonna get rid of it. This one belongs over there. Um, I have three of these lipsticks from ColourPop and Barbie. Um, this is in the shade Malibu Sunset. This is in the shade Golden Beach. And then we finally have the shade Dream House. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is put these in like the memory space slash decorum space because I don't really reach for them. And then I'm gonna keep Dream Beach out because I do reach for that one quite a bit more. It's a bit more pinky nude. We'll keep that one out, try to get a little bit more use out of it. But this one is like a super magenta color. And I just, I, the reality of the situation is, is I'm not going to reach for that. So we'll use that as a decorum piece. Move it right along. This one is also a decorum piece. This is Pure X Barbie. I can't get it out. <laughs> it's kind of a dark berry color. This is, I definitely bought this like as a decor piece. I got this, I think at TJ Maxx. So we're going to take it out of my main lipstick collection and just put it somewhere else because I don't typically wear that one. This is by, gosh, Ciate London, I think. Yes, it is. Oh, it's Jessica Rabbit. It's just so pretty. Like the color is like, of course, like, it's like a berry red. Um, and I don't think my camera is allowing you to see. It's like so pretty. I think honestly though, what I'll do is I will um, put this, yeah. I think I'll put this in a spot where I can display it. The red, my camera isn't doing terrible today. I'm so sorry, but oh, you can kind of see it right there. It's like a shimmery red. It's like a perfect holiday <laughs> lipstick, but the reality is, is like how often, you know what I mean? So I'm going to hold on to it, but not in my main makeup collection. This one is by somebody. That is for sure. This is by Lena Chu. Pretty, kind of like a peachy. We'll keep that. This is an older Lawless lipstick and I'm trying to see if I remember the shade. It's in the shade Fawn, but I don't even think you can get these anymore in this packaging. So I'm gonna let that go. Um, I'll follow up on if you can get that in that packaging, but I'm fairly certain you cannot. I have these three here by Revlon. Um, these are like super white based pinks. Do some swatches here. Those are those swatched out, you can kind of like almost hardly see. The first one on the left here um, is Make It Pink. And then we have the middle one, which is Candy Addict. And then finally we have Pick Me Up. I actually do enjoy all of those. So we are gonna hold on to those. Um, we have this one here by Milani and it is in the shade 69 i don't know that i've ever used this i'm gonna see if it's even still available and then if it's not i'm gonna declutter it because i can't tell you the last time i used it i have two of these shine ones from l'oreal i have mine in the shade glossy fawn and sparkling rose i actually do enjoy these quite a bit so we're gonna hold on to those we have two um of their not matte formulas from revlon this one is in the shade bear it all i think i actually got these at the end of last year so we're gonna hold on to these and then we have bear affair which is um just another kind of mid-toned neutral so we are gonna hold on to those oh gosh i wish Too faced would bring this <laughs> formula back these are so old though they have to they have to go yeah they stink these have to go they're so old i have this one by gucci um and it is this red color let's see do a little swatch it's like a ready orange it's like very sheer it's a very very pretty we're gonna hold on to it and then we have two from the glam light and scooby-doo collection we're going to hold on to both of those okay so i have a whole fleet of these by Prapa beauty 
And the thing of it is, is that I got these not too long ago, maybe a couple years ago, but I have since I bought these, I haven't heard anything from that brand. Like, I don't think, honestly, that they've released anything. So I'm going to swatch these out. So these are those shades swatched out. So um, from left to right, we have Finesse, Believe It, Victress, Profits, Prowess. And then down here, we have these two um, called Made It and Limitless. So let me take a peek at these and I'm just going to keep a couple, I think. I get rid of these two, um, Limitless and Made It at the bottom here. They're just too orangey for me. I'm realistically not going to reach for that. Okay, so we're going to keep these three, um, Victress, Profits, and Finesse. And then we're going to declutter Believe It and Prowess. I just, I don't know. I would keep, you know, I thought that like having them for reference, um, would make good sense and I got a sale on them when I did buy them but the reality of the situation is, is I haven't seen anything from them so I just I'm not sure what's going on there um I have a couple of these by Revlon and I actually really enjoy these um this is their shine formula so I have so sleek pink bear it all oh wait no these are like bleeding into the others we have so sleek pink and then we have Dewy Peach. And then we have Chocolate Luster. Let me swatch these because I just can't remember. Okay, so those are those three swatched out. Like a super sheer formula. I think I would like to hold on to all three of them for right now. Um, and then kind of like circle back. <laughs> um, in terms of if they're still available for reference, then yes, we'll definitely keep them. But if they're not, I don't want to hold on to something that we can't get our hands on anymore. I do have this Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Kim KW. Kim We're definitely holding on to that. Um, I also have these two from the Glam Light Chucky collaboration. Um, we're going to hold on to these as well. I have this one by YSL. And this is in... A shade that I don't know. Um, but regardless, it's a very like pretty red color. I am going to hold on to this. I have a couple by MAC. So we'll go ahead and swatch these and just kind of see. So this first one is called Dare You. And it's pretty deep red. I just don't think I'm going to get use out of it. It's also like super dry and old. So we're going to get rid of that. Um, this next one is in the shade mocha that one is more bearable we'll hold on to mocha for now um but i just am not convinced that i'm gonna get a ton of use out of it um i do have one here by wayne goss so i'm gonna hold on to this one i have the shade amaryllis I do like this formula. It's quite nice. I have these three. Um, they came as a collaboration. Um, I think it's the Mariposa collab. They're all just like so bright. Let me just. So hopefully you can see. So bright and opaque. This one is like a little awkward because it's so pretty in the tube. But it is a very white based shiny peach. Um. And I just don't think I'm going to get use out of that. So I think we're going to let all three of these go. The next one is in open is this inavoidable shade. And it is, again, like so bright, but like very white based, but in the weirdest way. And then finally, we have this shade called Bezos. Like a very corally red shade. Um... I'm just like, when, honestly, when am I going to wear these? I think I'm going to put these in makeup memories because I don't think I want to like get rid of them, but I also don't want to wear them. So we're going to hold on to them, but not in the main collection. And then in terms of lipsticks, I only have, oops, a mini has escaped. I have this one mini from Valentino and it is kind of a deeper nude shade we're gonna hold on to that and then i have these two from pat mcgrath labs so these are both going to stay i do i love her 
her formula. So I do want to hold on to both of these. These, um, I don't know if these shades are specifically are available anymore. They came out for Pratt. There's like fluff and stuff. Anyways, um, so these are those two shades right down here at the bottom. And they're just very pretty and neutral. And then the rest of my lip products are these little Laneige lip masks, which I am going to keep. And then I have two little things from Glam Light and Garfield, which I'm also going to keep. So finally, we are done with... So finally, we are done with this declutter. This is everything that I'm keeping. I know it's a lot and it's also a giant mess. Um, but again, I buy everything that you see here. So I just feel like I need to be thoughtful about what I am decluttering. Um, and I do feel like I got rid of quite a bit. Let's go take a peek at everything I decluttered. So this is everything that I am decluttering. These, <laughs> the bulk of it is going to be these darn lip liners just because I had way too many, but I feel like this is pretty good for me <laughs> because I feel like historically I've really struggled to let things go. Um, but I feel good about this. I think I'll be able to <laughs> find the ones that I want and need um, without having to dig through all of these. So this feels good. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel down below. As always, please stay happy, stay healthy, and stay blessed, and I will see you on the next video. Bye!